Okay, so if I forget, remind me to do a video on this because it was requested. Because this video right here is a request. And um, it's a request on uh, a video that was, uh, the link was sent to me. Um, Jesus was a Buddhist monk. I think there's supposed to be a question mark after that BBC documentary. Um, and this was sent to me by, um, let's see if I can get to the person, just so I can give him credit. Um, uh, looks like, no, I'm not going to be able to give him credit. Uh, but hopefully, um, you know, I'll put the name in the, uh, not description box. I'll put it in the comments so you guys will actually see it. So Buddhism. And um, Jesus. Now we can find a lot, most of the words of Jesus and his teachings in um, in the Gospels, but also what he taught his um, his apostles. Um, but we also, you know, when in doubt, you know, just use the red letters, I guess. Um, let's see. Jesus was a Buddhist monk. And there's a lot of questions of what happened to this 14 years, those missing years of Jesus' life from the time that he was, you know, ran away from the temple at like 12 till he was in his early 30s and preaching. Well, my guess is um, there was no running away to the temple. Um, the first time anybody heard of Jesus was when he started uh his uh, preaching career, being an apocalyptic preacher. And then he got more famous after he was crucified. So that's why nobody's writing about him, because who knew what happened beforehand and, and how boring would that be? He was probably just around living a normal life like anybody else. But Jesus and the Buddha. Is Jesus was Jesus a Buddhist? We have the four noble truths. Um, life is suffering. Suffering is caused by desire or craving. Suffering can be overcome um, by ending attachment slash desire to things. And four. The only way to end suffering is to follow the Eightfold Path to Happiness. Okay. But uh, we're also told that um, there is going to be uh, an unending life of pleasure for some in the church. So. Not all life is suffering, um, but besides that, um, Christ preached a God who was eternal, um, outside of space, energy, time, and matter, but eternal nonetheless. Um, grace, end times, the resurrection of the dead. Um, in the New Testament, there's po it's, there's a possibility of reincarnation of the soul. There's also the idea of the soul. Um, the universe is limited. Um, there is sin. Uh, we have things like um, Luke 16, 19 through 31, also known as uh, the rich man and Lazarus. Um, Luke 6, 27. Um, love those um, who hate you. Um, <coughs> and a moral right and wrong. Also, suffering is not an illusion. These are all within Christianity or within the New Testament. Buddhism. No creator deity. No main god. Okay. That's a... That's a Big hurdle. No grace. No end times. No resurrection. No reincarnation um, of any type. I mean, there's reincarnation of karma, 
but not actual reincarnation. This is where they get into it with the Hindus. Um, whereas I think if you're just going by the Bible, you can make a very strong case for reincarnation being part of Christianity, or at least being part of um, what was believed uh, in New Testament times. Um, no soul. Oops, that's, that's a huge thing. Um, universe is eternal. Uh, oops, we found out that it, it's not. Um, suffering is an illusion. No, no Christian believed that, and Christ did not teach that. Um, now, as for the documentary, um, the documentary is a little bit wackier than that, right? And just as I had to put down, because, you know, the, 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 um, the Four Noble Truths, I put the, um, the eight, uh, the eight spoked wheel here of Dharma and the Cairo over here. And I want to be respectful of both religions because I think, uh, you should be respectful of Buddhism and, um, Christianity and tell the truth about them and not just lie. I'm not going to say that uh, Buddha was an Israelite or something like that. Um, but let's, let's see where our where these people are. Right, that pretty that is, is convinced that there are clues here that might reveal what exactly the Templars did find during their excavations in Jerusalem. Oh, the Templars at Chateau. Um, Run Le Chateau. Hmm. I want, and they bring up a sect. Uh, oh, there's Elaine Pagel. In some way, that Jesus who died might be in substance alive, whatever one means by that. And there are many others who take it as a, as an image of hope, because after all, we're talking about the resurrection of Jesus. Cult and lay disciples are recognizing, and then with these efforts of lay disciples, the more meaning of a village outside Jerusalem. Used by night. And brought a mixture of myrrh, all of which is confusing. But another Christian group made a discovery which really might reveal that the resurrection story is not true. Are this the Cathars, also known as the Albigensians? In the 13th century, this whole area was a stronghold of the Knights Templar, a strict religious and military order of warrior monks. Local historian Thierry Lecomte has spent the last 12 years uncovering the history of the Knights Templar in this region. The region they're talking about is the Languedoc region of France. They're going to get to the Cathars and the Albigensians. Um, the Albigensians who were against sex, against procreation. Um, and once they became perfect, they would starve themselves to death. You're going to find some similarities with Buddhism there. But this came from the East. Um, came from Manichaeanism, which then turned into Polysianism, which then turned into Bud or, or Bogomelism, which then became Albigensianism. <coughs> and Manichaeanism was a blend of Buddhism, Zoroastrianism, and Christianity, so mystery solved. Um, yeah. The, um, the Ren Le Chateau was, a, was also... A, Sonier um, was selling um, indulgences and masses at an exorbitant price. That's how it could afford such thing. The mystery has already been solved. But no, um, was Jesus a Buddhist? No, he could he wasn't. His teachings just didn't line up. Was Muhammad a Buddhist? Was Muhammad a Taoist? No, actually, he taught the exact opposite. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't understand why people aren't fine with that, you know. Was Zoroaster a Buddhist? No. No, he wasn't. Or was Buddha a Zoroastrianist? A Mazdian? A Zarathustrian? No. No, he wasn't. From the same caste. From the same cl uh, class system, same caste, 
but no. All right, peace to you, and I hope this answers your question, and thank you for sending me the link and the question.